we guess the meaning of the phrases? I like how the guy's all, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he got the phrases wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you get killed if you get the phrases wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, so this is the phrases. Can you guess the phrases? So if you were in Ireland... Well, you got some phrases here that uh, that uh, William and Jesus have to figure out if, if somebody says one of these phrases, do they know what the hell they're talking about? And there's going to be penalties and prizes. So at the end, there's three games, and we're this is game two. If they do win, uh, one, they get to pick. This is one of the prizes. Uh, they get to pick between this 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 river uh, flotation device, which is uh, really cool. It's called a uh, river lounger. It's a uh, uh, two air chambers, got a headset for added comfort, and uh, there's a rope and everything. So it's uh, really cool. The other one, if they choose not to have that one, there's another choice. And it's this really cool badminton set right here. Cool. With the, uh, I got some extra birdies for them too. So, so that'd be really fun. So there's this, this or the other one. And if we, when they guess one of them wrong, they don't get this right. They were gonna have to take a spoonful of this really nasty capers. Uh, so we already did this on the other game, and William said it, it is very vinegary and very salty, and not very fun to take a spoonful of. So it's, it's kind of like eating a spoonful <laughs> of mustard. <laughs> you know, it, it's like it's it's great on something. Uh, it's, it's good to put on something, but, but raw. It's on, it's on its own. Yeah, not so fun. It's right. very vinegary. All right, so at the at this moment, uh, I am actually ahead by two points. I have three points. William has. Has only one, but uh, Jesus hasn't had a chance to even play uh, a game yet. He did the Who extra myth. So now we get to do. Uh, we get. He's got. A, every, they get a chance to, to catch up. All right. All right. So if they were in Ireland, if you were. So what I've got. What I got is a phrase, and then I got a sentence that it would be uh, used in, and so that's kind of a clue on uh, you guys can figure out what, what, what they might be talking about. <coughs> so, sorry the. Uh, Capers came back up. Goose <laughs> So I'm going to do... So we're going to do three, right? So yes. you get a chance. Okay, so... Yeah. All right. So the first one I've got here is called... It, they would say, cut cut to the onions. Cut to the onions or cut to the bone. They kind of have a slash between onions and bone. So cut to the onions slash bone. So they might say, cut to the onions or cut to the bone. Here's how they might put it in a, in a sentence. <clears throat> I'm cut to the onions with all the drama around here. You're done. You're fed up. Yep. You're over with it. He's like, I, I'm not going to take it anymore. I was going to say this again. Is that what you say? Yeah. I was yeah. Gonna you say you guys got that one right. Sweet. So it was point for William. I think, yeah. I've, I think I've heard that one before. Yeah. I think I've heard it used. Cut to the onions? Right. Cut to the bone. Cut to the bone on that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And cut to the bone on that. Good job. Okay, I, another one is really restrained. I've never heard this one. It's a six of one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> that's the whole phrase? Yeah, it's, it's all in bold. Six of one, <clears throat> half a dozen of the other. <laughs> so here's how they might use it in a sentence. Should I go out on the lash or have Bess over a song? Six of one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> They're talking yeah, Greek. No, I man. think I think they, I think that means it's it's equal. <laughs> it, it's the same difference. I think that's what they mean by that. It's the same difference. What do you say? Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about. Yeah. Either that, that means equal. <clears throat> yeah, either or. Okay. You guys are right. It's um, <clears throat> six one means the same thing either way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. William gets another point. So you, William, I remember what three. out on the lash means too from the last time we did that. Right, out on yeah. the lash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I got one more. Foundered. I'm so foundered. I'll need two extra blankets in my bed. Wow, that doesn't make it any. Because at first I'm thinking foundered. I'm thinking frustrated. You know, like, you're, you're like, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, not frustrated, but like, yeah, uh, surprised. Right. I'll need two blankets in my bed, though. It just totally kills it. It's like, does that mean cold? Does that mean he's chilly? He's 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 cold. <laughs> Some kind of cut on that. Repeat their sentence. <laughs> can you re- can you can you use that in a sentence, please? I'm so foundered. I'll need two extra blankets in my bed. 
I'm so foundered, I'll need two extra blankets in my bed. Tired. <laughs> I think it means tired. Yeah? Yeah. What do you I'm, think? That's my final answer. I believe it means tired. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go with that too. <laughs> Because Dude, it you, does, it does think, sound like that. If but you think that's what it means, hey Zeus, go with it. it, it that sounds like what it, it almost, means. It almost, it almost, it almost sounds like you know. Or it, it means I was, maybe, I was surprised about it. I maybe was, I'm, I'm so too, fun. I'm so uncomfortable. I need two blankets in my bed. There. So you're gonna go with uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Okay, I'm gonna go with tired. He's gonna go with uncomfortable. Sword. Okay, well, that one you guys didn't get. You started to have it right, but, yeah. you, but you didn't get one. No. So it was cold. So um, oh, now, it was cold. Uh, state oh. of state, state of being extremely cold. So you, you were on the right track. In so the was my second you guess. I should have went with my uh-huh, second Your guess. gut instinct was right. Yeah, well, my gut instinct was... Cold. Was, oh, it was the... Uh, fl- frustrated. Yeah, well, surprised. I was so foundered. Yeah, then it was frustrated. Like, and then you went, does it mean bed. cold? Yeah. It's like, well, that means it can mean cold. So foundered for an Irish guy means I'm, I'm freezing. So, all right, so so there's no extra points. Uh, uh, so at the at this... Two and two. Yeah, so, so William, you're at three. I'm at three. Jesus right now is at two, so we got one more game, right? So um, there's a chance for. Uh, so in the next game, we can have Jesus it. has to get three points, and you can only get two in order to tie. Yeah, so you could still win this one. Yeah. All right, so Let's there's go. our. I haven't won a prize, guys. Come on. There's our <laughs> phrases. Yeah, you have. I have. No. Bought. You won second place last week. A freaking bag of nuts. <laughs> I bought that especially for you. Those were good nuts. That was, was my good. Ba- salty nuts. You know, that was my bag of nuts for you, Jesus. And, they and you were good. just and, they and you were, were just like oh, I apologize. Those were good nuts. It was just a bag of nuts. <laughs> those were good nuts. <laughs> I saw you watching those that nut bag. I, I saw you watching those bag of nuts. <laughs> they were good though. You, I'm you, not gonna lie. you buy a ball in my Give me your spoon. I, I told Jess about them. I'm like, I'm gonna get some. I gotta find them now. Oh yeah. So we got we got a spoon of capers going on here. Some vinegary, salty capers. Just so you know, I like all those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hope you lose and you have to down the whole thing. Is that those are actually amazing? Uh, William doesn't like them. <laughs> I love them. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> <laughs> they are amazing. <laughs> You know what it reminds me of is is vinegar and um, is it like and, an olive. And, uh, well, no, it's kind of like eating. Um, uh, but what a are deviled the egg. Okay, but what are the capers? No, it is not like eating a double egg. What are they? You are bullshit. A sir. deviled a deviled egg with vinegar in it. I get that, but what is the caper actually? Uh, what is it? Is it some? What is the green thingy that? I mean, what is that? Some kind of an olive? No, um, you know I don't know. Does yeah. it say on it? Maybe I'll look it up. Maybe. maybe. Oh. oh. Capers. It didn't say what it is. No. Oh, I can't stand it. It it could be the hey guys, it could be the balls of a fish. The, these Doritos are fish spicy. Balls. They're fish balls. <laughs> hey I can't guys. stay on it. <laughs> Did you take my beef jerky? <laughs> I I admit I took it for the. Flavor. All right. What's the next game? Crapers. The next game we'll be playing is Alive with Sound. Okay. All right, now I'm just trying to find what a cra- caper. Did I spell that right? Caper? I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. Skip or dance about in a lively or playful way. What are... <laughs> what is that? Non... Non... Peril... Capers... After baking, um, after after being uh, picked, capers are stored by size and then dried, um, brined or salted, preserved and packaged. The smallest size, called nonpareil, is the most um, dis- uh, desirable and most often used in recipes. The next time you want to add some salty flavor to your dishes, try using capers. Does it, it's just it, it is it's something they pick. Whatever it is, it's something. It they sounds pick. like a plant of some kind. Or yeah. So, I don't know. Anyways, next game. Game on. Game on. Game on. Ah, God, that stuff's still in my mouth. <laughs> Taste this.